All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the Collection Center in QuickBooks. So this was a feature that a few years back came um, enabled as part of the standard preferences. And then into it introduced the Income Tracker, which is another video that is right after this one you can watch. Um, but the Income Tracker kind of has a similar look and feel as QuickBooks Online and in trying to you know, make some harmony between the products, um, easing people's transitions, right? Um, the income tracker now comes standard and the collection center is a preference that you have to turn on. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So first of all, how do you know if it's enabled or not in your company file? So if you go to your customer center here, right, by clicking on customers or customer center up top, if you see up top here, you can see the income tracker if you do not see the collection center, that means it's not enabled. Okay. So uh, in order to enable the collection center, you do have to have the appropriate security rights, right? You have to have access to uh, edit company preferences or you have to be the admin. So first we're going to go ahead and enable it. So I go up to edit and preferences and then I come down here to sales and customers and then under company preferences. I'm going to go to the middle here and enable Collection Center. So it's just a checkbox, just that easy. Okay, it's going to close all my open windows and then I'm going to go back in. So now you can see I have the Collection Center up here on my little bar in the Customer Center. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, so there's two tabs in the Collection Center. There's the Overdue tab and then there's the Almost Due tab. Okay, so in uh, the almost due tab, this is going to show us anybody who is, you know, almost due, right? They're not overdue yet, and I'll show you where you edit that in the preferences. Why this would be a helpful tab for people, so some customers of yours might be on longer terms, right? They might have like 60, 90 day terms and that's quite far out from the time you originally sent out the invoice, the original invoice. So being proactive with those customers and saying, hey, these invoices are due in the next seven days, as an example, uh, is very effective, I feel like, in doing collections, right? Being proactive and saying, as a reminder, we sent this out, you know, 53 days ago <laughs> and it's about to be due. So that's one way you can use almost due. And then of course overdue would be if you are um, past due, period, right? They owe you this money, it's due now. Okay, so how do we affect these numbers? So these are based off the reminders list. So you have reminders up top here in the top corner, but it's a, again, a preference and it is a company preference. So if I go to edit, actually I'm gonna switch over to almost do here so you can see the effect. If I go to edit and preferences and then I click on reminders and then I have my company preferences here. Okay, so we have overdue invoices and it tells you when to remind you, remind me after five days, five days after the invoice is due, right? Don't tell me the day of give them a little bit of leeway there. Five days after the invoice is due, and I can change this number. Okay, so remind me seven days after as an example. Um, almost due invoices, it, here it's telling me, remind me 14 days before this is due. So again, if I wanted to be seven days, as I was giving an example. But for now, just so that you guys can see the effect, I'm gonna change it to 45. <laughs> I'm being really proactive, <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna change this to 45 so you can see that it does affect this. So if I say okay, now it added in some more invoices that are due here. Um, and these are invoices, right, that are due. So when I look at it, I have, it, it categorizes it by job. If I had multiple invoices due under the same job, then they would be listed under the same job there. So let's go in maybe 1057B under Carol. If I looked at this invoice and I wanted to move it to kitchen remodel too, right? It's not a good idea to do this obviously, but just so that you can see it. Save and close. Right, so now you can see when it shows up in here, it shows two invoices underneath the same job. Okay. All right. Uh, so on this center here, um, 
it gives us the job, it gives us the invoice number, the balance, it does give us the phone number for the customer for calling in, and then we have a little place over here for some extra good stuff. So what do we usually do? When I was in private industry and I was doing collections uh, for the company I used to work for, I would go in and print out my AR aging report, AR aging detail, right, by customer, and I would pull up the customer center and then I would look at my report, see what's past due, pull up the customer, find the phone number, call them. They would tell me what's going on with this payment. I would make a note down there on the piece of paper. When I was done calling everybody for the day or emailing everybody for the day, I would stick it in my AR folder and, you know, wait until next week and I'm going to call everybody again. So that means that I have access to this data, nobody else has access to this data, and that AR, those notes that I took are really important because, you know, if Sally told me something important at, you know, Albert Cruz's company, I want to make sure that I, um, I want to make sure that I remember that. So next time when I talk to her, I can sit, remind her, Sally, you told me last week this happened, right? Or, you know, anyway, so we can be on top of and more organized. So anyway, that piece of paper became very important to me to keep track of. And then it would get notes scribbled, right, crossed out here and added there, and it was just a mess. So how does the collection center help? <laughs> so in the collection center, what's super nice, so first of all, the phone number's right there, so I can call them from right here. Um, I don't have to go back and navigate somewhere else to look it up. I also have the ability to add in notes, okay? So here in the notes area, I can say, all right, on January 8th, Sally says she's sending a check. On uh, May 11th, it took me quite a while, I guess, called Sally and asked what's going on. Uh, and, you know, maybe I left a voicemail as an example. And then Sally called back, check was sent, voiding and resending check number 5555, right, whatever it is. But again, these notes are kept in the system so that I have access to them easily. It adds that time and date stamp for me automatically so I don't have to think about when did I do this, right? Again, on my notes on my paper, sometimes I'd forget what dates I did things on. Um, so it reminds me. And then the nice part about this is also for, for me, it helps me keep track of my work, but for the company. So if I decide that I'm out for a week on vacation and somebody else in the company needs to do my job, they have access to this data so that they can do the collections as well, right? So it's very helpful for the company to have it in one centralized place. Okay, so wh how, what do we do with the collection center? So you can call and take notes. The other thing though that's really nice is that we have the ability to select and send emails, okay? Now I can tell by this little icon down here that this customer is missing an email address on account so I cannot email this customer right because obviously I need an email address to send an email out now you can click this button and come in and add the email address here if you add the email address there right that goes away okay now if you do not see a select and send email here it's probably because Every single one of your customers doesn't have an email address in there. If that's a pro you know, if that's the case, we can show you some ways in some other videos on how to mass edit and things like that. Um, or give us a call, we can help you out. But um, anyway, if you don't see that select and send, it's because you, you don't have any email addresses on hand and you have to go in and add those email, email addresses in before you can use this cool feature. Um, so what I want to do is, and this might be something I do, you know, two days or a day before I go in and call all my customers, I'm going to select and send my emails out. So now notice it, it automatically checks every single customer. If I didn't want to send some out, for example, I can just uncheck the box up here and then just ch check the ones that I actually do want to send out. Okay. So you do it either way. I can leave them all checked and uncheck the one I don't or just go down the list and check them off. On the side over here, it has a default email. You can edit the email if you want to. Have a nice day. Um, this is the default that'll go out to all customers, okay? So if you wanted to edit it, you know, send it out to a certain group and then edit it, send it out to another group, you can. 
You can edit the subject line in here if you needed to. You can BCC um, somebody if you want to, right? Maybe your internal email address. And then what'll happen is it attaches a PDF copy to the invoice, uh, or I'm sorry, to the email. Um, so PDF copy of the invoice is attached. Um, so it's different than a statement, right? Where a statement kind of gives you a balance on account. This is going to be multiple PDFs with different um, copies of the invoices in there. Okay, so it's the actual copy of the invoice, not a statement. All right. And then when you hit send, of course, it might take a minute because if you have several in here that you're sending out, you uh, it'll take a minute to process all those emails. So just be patient if you see the little spinning circle or anything like that. Um, and then hopefully, as you continue to use the collection center, then you'll have fewer and fewer that are, you know, overdue invoices, and it won't take so long next time. Okay. On the overdue section, of course, it's the same as almost due. It's just, you know, they haven't that they're actually due. So maybe when you do select and send email, it's a little bit more, uh, right? So this one is please respond overdue payment. A little bit more um, dramatic of an email can go in for the overdue people. And of course, where do you set up your email, um, you know, sending preferences, under preferences, under send forms, right? We have our different um, templates that we have set up in here, okay? All right, so that is the collection center. Hopefully that's helpful. Again, one of those things that I use with all my customers, I point out to all my customers because I think it's very effective and a great additive that QuickBooks gives us.